So the other day, ChatGPT 3.5 was working fast, but GPT 4 was going super slow. So GPT 3.5 did all of this. But today I'm going to show you what has been leveled up with GPT 4 and how it's going faster and how you can obliterate and pass AI detectors while dominating SEO with simple GPT prompts. So this is my affiliate network, the affiliate army right here. But I want to be able to outrank using SEO and ChatGPT. I want to outrank OfferVault and all of their highest paying uh, affiliate offers. I want to be able to outrank CPA Grip and all of their highest paying affiliate offers so that I can get new recruits. And we're going to use GPT-4. So how are we going to do that in a way that you guys are not already using ChatGPT for SEO. Well, we're going to go to Google. So I typed in best high ticket affiliate networks 2023. You guys can type in your niche. And what you want to do is look for uh, the websites that are most uh, are closely related to what you're talking about. Not someone that just created an article on the topic one time, but we want sites, complete sites dedicated to what you're talking about. So to speed up, I went ahead and I did this right here. I found affiliate mate and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these. So make sure you watch this to the end because we're going to siphon a crazy amount of information from these sites and their rankings and their keywords and all of that. We're going to plug it into to chat GPT-4, GPT-4, and it's going to create these awesome articles that are completely unique, human written. That's what it's look, going to look like. It's going to pass all AI detection uh, software and is going to be able to rank in Google. OK, so check this out. This is what you want to do. All right. So I'm going to come back over here to Offer Vault. And then after Offer Vault, behind Offer Vault, we're going to put a forward slash. Watch this. We put the forward slash. Then we want the site map. You're going to put site map. Now, this won't work for every single site, but this will work for most sites. OK, so now we're going to copy this. We're going to copy the site map. OK, this is uh, most of the details about uh, the website, like what Google and their bots see. All right. And we're going to paste it in there. We're not going to press enter yet because now we're going to come back over here. We would send that. I guess we can close out Offer Vault now. We're going to do the same thing with CPA Grip type sitemap behind that XML. All right. So this is the data that is plugged into the, you know, Google once the website pages are indexed and everything. So if you need more information, like, dude, you can just go back to Google and find more of your competing sites. So I just pasted in that one. Now I can leave that one. I can also go to other um, other competing websites that use the same keywords as I do. So this is market call. This is a paper call and we're going to take their site map too. So keep be patient. You're going to see what I'm doing with this and how we're going to create 10 to 20 freaking articles in less than an hour that are all uh, able to pass AI detection, um, all able to use Google AdSense, all able to rank in Google. So we're going to copy this as well. Man, nobody else is going to show you this stuff, guys. So go ahead and do a jumbo leg kick to the freaking like button and do a, a unbox. Uh, knee kick to the freaking share button. You understand? Share this to your Facebook so you can come back and watch it later or email it to yourself so you can use this for your SEO game plan. All right. So check this out, man. Let me know in the chat if this is crazy so far. I know you don't know what's going to turn out. So I I'll come back around with that one. So we're going to paste that one in there. And like I said, you could just do that endlessly, but I'm not going to hold you guys. What we're going to do next, all right, is we're going to tell GPT-4. Matter of fact, I should have put it up here. Let me stroll back up and I'm going to tell GPT-4, um, give me all of the URL links from this and delete everything else. All right. Boom. All right. So now, ah, come on, chat GPT. Errors, errors, errors. So I'm just going to copy that. There's always going to be some BS. Or maybe I just have so much information that it's like, yo, because it is limitations with GPT-4 right now. So maybe I should have just did this with two sites. But I'm going to refresh the page 
And let's see if it allows us to do it then. Refresh. All right. Paste. Come on. Jesus. Oh, it says, it, <laughs> okay, it's too long. That's what it is. Pause. All right. So I'm just going to take a couple of these then. I'm just going to take a couple of these. So we got CPA grip. All right. Boom. We'll stop right there. All right. Let me refresh. Now I want to show y'all this. I'm super excited to show y'all this. Okay. So now it should do it. GPT-4 is still kind of slow. It's a little bit faster. It's, it's, it's slower than, you know, GPT-3.5, uh, of course. As you can see, look at this, man. It's, it's kind of going slow. Jesus, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. So I, I still don't like it as much. But just for this example, you know, because it is better at, uh, you know, doing what you tell it to do. It's, it's still not as fast as GPT uh, 3.5 yet, but it is it's smarter than GPT 3.5. OK, so that's why I'm showing you this today with GPT 4. All right. So as you can see, it's giving us nothing but the links from the site maps. OK, so like I said before, you'll just type in uh, sitemap.xml behind the forward slash of every website. Every website is not going to work. All right. Remember that. But this is super awesome. OK, so now I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. So let me just go ahead and take some of these because I don't know how many I don't know how many is going to give us. So let's just start the next part. OK. But this is a crap load of data. All right. So now we'll just tell it to stop generating just so you guys aren't like waiting all day for this. We're going to say based off of these, uh, based off of the data from these URLs and the keywords on their pages, give me uh, some ideas for some new uh, blog or uh, pages to rank on best affiliate networks. All right. So let's see what it comes up with. To create new pages that rank well for the be uh, term, consider the following ideas. OK, so now it is looking at the information on these pages and also the keyword that I gave it to. All right. So the more information you give it, the more detailed your instructions, the better the results you're going to get, guys. So check this out. Like I said, it's still slow, but it is giving us better titles, better ideas based off of this up here. So what we're going to do once it stops, <laughs> like I said, if this was GPT 3.5, it would have been done already. I guess I'll just go ahead and stop it so I can show you guys the next part. There's really no rush, you know, unless you guys have somewhere to be. Go ahead and jab, jab, uppercut to the like button if you haven't done that one already. All right. Because, look, this is aggregating data from all of the pages on here. So this is going to help. Look at this. CPA versus CPS versus uh, CPL. Look, if you thought it was just making up some stuff and it wasn't aggregating from that, that is actual stuff from those URLs right here. It wouldn't be able to come up with this on its own just based off of uh, this keyword right here. It would have just gave us some generic best affiliate networks titles and stuff, but it's actually going deeper and deeper into it based off of the information that is deriving from these URLs. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy these URLs again. Watch this. OK, copy these URLs. Boom. We're going to put it in there. Pause. So which one of these are we going to take? Top 10 best affiliate networks. We got that one right there, a comprehensive comparison. Let's see, what are we going to do? And it's going to create a crap load of articles. Now, it is slower than GPT-4, I mean, GPT-0.35, uh, but hey, you know, it's still doing the work for you. So best affiliate networks for specific niches. The whole goal is to be able to pass, um, you know, the AI detection. And I'm going to show you guys that, all right? So look, how to choose the right affiliate network, CPA versus CPL versus CPS. OK, so success stories. What we're going to do is we're going to take this one right here. All right. <clears throat> we're going to take that keyword. Then we're going to come over here to our prompt. All right. 
I'm going to paste it in the prompt right here. So this is just what we put into everything. So now we're adding this as well as the site map in a, you know, ingredient that we sprinkled in. And this is what's going to be the killer that's going to get us way past the AI detection box and all of that extra stuff and help us rank better because it's going to be like a human wrote it. OK, so it says use of grammar, punctuation and spelling that appear to be human generated creation of content based on context and user input. Use of natural dialogue structures, such as asking questions, providing feedback. So basically, we're programming uh, GPT itself to know how a human would actually write. So we're just outlining 10 things that a human would actually like characteristics, uh, writing uh, 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 traits that a human would have. OK, then it says try to sound like a human writer writing for a blog, writing this in a first person, giving advice, try to sound unique unique and write in an unpredictable fashion that doesn't sound like uh, chat GPT. I'll just say chat GPT instead of GPT or, or, you know, period. The text content must have the highest degree of perplexity and the uh, highest degree of burstiness. OK, so short sentences, long sentences out of nowhere type statements and all of that stuff. It needs to be like a human. All right. So then we have this part. This is super important right here. So this is going to be the killer based on all above. Write me an article on the top 10 of best affiliate networks. That's our keyword that we're really trying to get. When then it says when you mention each network, affiliate network, write them in a listing format. So we wanted to have good structuring for Google and user experience when people visit the website page. Give examples of why you chose each affiliate network in your rankings. Include the net worth of each affiliate network if possible. Include website links to each affiliate network mentioned using keyword rich anchor text. So you want to put that in there so that it can automatically be linking out to relevant uh, websites and articles and stuff like that to help with your SEO profile. All right. You don't want just backlinks. You also want to link back to other people, too. All right. Also link to videos discussing each affiliate network as well. Create an FAQ section for each affiliate network as well. Also include some of the top offers that they allow affiliates to promote. So this Oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is going to be fun. All right. So now we're going to put this in here. So just in case, I don't, I don't know, I'm going to copy everything just in case, uh, you know, chat GPT-4 tells me that this is all too uh, long again or something. Pause. All right. So now I got all of that. And then we're just going to head and press uh, let's see. Let me make sure one more time. Write me an article. Okay. We'll say, write me a, uh, a long article. All right. So boom. Damn. Did I, did I press enter? I mean, did I copy that? All right. So check this out. Now, as I said before, GPT four is <laughs> way slower than, uh, GPT 3.5, but I'm not going to say that no more. Yes, that's bars. OK, let me plug in the charger real quick. So as you guys can see, look at it. You understand is actually linking out. I believe this is a link right here. All right. But it's giving you everything and it's writing it in a human way. OK, look, top 10 best affiliate networks, comprehensive guide. Are you interested in diving into the world of affiliate marketing? Whether you're an experienced marketer or a newbie, choosing the right affiliate network can make all the difference in your success. In this article, I'll share my my. It didn't say the it said my. So it can seem as if it's coming from a person. Uh, top 10 picks for the best affiliate networks along with their net worth. Oh, dude, it is actually it is actually following instructions like some humans seem to have problems with. So it said examples of their top offers and frequently asked questions. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs>
<laughs> look at this. CP, look, CJ affiliate by Conversant net worth estimated 600 million. Example offers GoDaddy tax, uh, TurboTax, Home Depot. Man, this is killing it. Check this out. CJ affiliate is one of the largest and most reputable networks in the industry, offering thousands of high quality offers from big name brands. They're using user friendly platform, blah, blah, blah. All right. So then we got share a sale. So this is going to take a little second, but it seems as if it's going to write out the entire article. OK, so what I mean by entire article, usually chat GPT uh, 3.5 and a couple videos I saw for G point, uh, GPT 4. Uh, it stops around 500 to 600 words. And then you have to keep on uh, clicking, uh, you know, typing in there, continue from where you left off or something. Make sure when you guys come to this point, when it does stop right here or something, make sure you type in there, continue from exactly where you left off. OK, you want that because sometimes, especially when you create your ebooks and stuff, uh when when you tell it to continue it is just like kind of either restart the story or it will like you know start just talking about something new or coming from a different angle or something you don't want that you want that you want it to make sense if you're selling stuff out here so we got share sale we got clickbank which is definitely definitely false information so we, you want to make sure you run through that mug you know a, a little bit ah oh, come on Come on, network Eric. Ah, dude. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It still got problems, y'all. I'm trying to see. Should I go ahead and will is GPT for so I'm happy you guys are seeing this stuff live. Should I? Should I? No, nah, I'm just gonna copy, recopy this part right here. And if it got to start all over, then it just has to start dang on over. Uh, boom. So we'll take that right there. But I'm not finna. I'm not gonna take this right here and recreate refresh that. But let's see. Regenerate response. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, damn! It is starting all over from the beginning. <laughs> so as you can see, you can see some live flaws with GPT four. GPT three does not have this issue. Um, you know. So I mean, GPT four eventually is gonna have everything. But right now, as you guys can see, it's still some limitations. But it's kind of, uh, you know, pretty much starting over and doing exactly what what I told it to do and everything, which is cool. Um, all right. Now this is telling us something different right here. So what do you guys think, though, about doing SEO with GPT-4 the way that I told you? Do you think this is going to pass the uh, um, the AI detection? What was the one that I was trying to look at? It was a, a pass. What is it? AI detection. We're going to type in AI free AI uh, content detector. I forgot what it's called. Content something. It's called content something. Uh, content and scale. That's what it's called. OK, so this is one you can come to and you can paste your stuff in pause to see if um you know is is shared content it's kind of difficult because like dude this is not even done it's taking so long gpt4 is like like painfully slow but it, as far as quality and doing what you tell it to do is is a lot better it's a lot better than uh gpt 3.5 so i'm just take this from here and then we're going to just test it right here. So it's going to give us predictability, probability, and pattern. That's how it's going to judge it. How robotic is your content? Let's see. Paste it in there. Um, and we're going to check for content. Come on, man. Pass it, man. Let's pass it. What's going on? Oh, snap. Look at this. Are you telling me that we can get ranked in Google? Are you telling me that we can get approved for Google AdSense? And are you telling me that we can pass AI detection? Yes, we can pass AI detection. So follow exactly what I showed you in this video, guys. Listen, so let's come back over here. And uh, you know what's funny? I think this would work in uh, GPT-3 as well, GPT-3.5, because we gave it so much information that 
I, I just believe GPT 3.5 will fit, uh, pass it too. But we don't have to speculate or guess. Let's go ahead and try it in GPT 3.5, especially since we know it's going to go faster. So I'm going to refresh this. And cause, cause do it. Like if it still works, if, if if the prompts and everything that I just showed you guys works uh with the site map and all ah, damn, but it don't have the same. Well, it does have the links. I got the links. All right, so we got all of that in here. Now watch the speed difference. Okay, watch this. Boom. <laughs> Look how fast 3P uh, uh GPT uh 3.5 is, man. Like, OK, and it's kind of still coming with the same information and everything. But as you can see with GPT three uh, with GPT four, the layout of the article itself was more organized and structured properly and all of that. So like it, it will look better for search engines and for users on GPT four. So I can say that that is a good improvement. But as far as speech. GPT-4 need to catch up, man. Like, dude, uh, GPT-3.5 got on his Barry Allen suit. It got on his Flash suit. You know what I'm what I'm saying? You know, so, I mean, dude. So, what we're going to do now, as you can see, it keeps stopping. Like, it stops with this. So, like I told you before, you would have to type in here, continue from exactly where you left off from. Boom. All right. So GPT 3.5 is still smart enough to do what you tell it to do <laughs> and it's faster. So what we're going to do is go over here now and we're going to test whether or not this pad, because we already know it can rank. I got pages is already ranking, but we're going to test whether or not it can pass the dang on index. Thing. I mean, not the index name, pass the AI detection. So we're going to refresh. So GPT-4 got it to a 91%. Let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens with GPT-3.5, man. What is going to be the score? Okay, boom. Oh, I didn't press check. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, based on 528 words, what is it? Ah, man. It's lower than GPT uh, four is. So it's ah, but it still passes probability. It still passes pattern. It just has a lower score, you know what I'm saying, in predictability. So that gives it a 75% versus a 91%. So patience needs to be your virtue if you want quality. <laughs> You know, patience need to be your virtue if you want quality, man, because uh, uh, GPT-4 definitely passes uh, GPT-3.5 when it comes to the AI detector. Damn, man, that sucks. I was hoping it would have at least been, you know, up there, you know, because uh, look how fast GPT-3.5 works, man. But I guess we just got to like, you know. Take a time, you know, take our dang on time, dude. This sucks. Ah, this sucks, man. I really wanted 3.5 to be just as good as uh, GPT-4 when it comes to passing the AI detection. But it's it's still not a loser. It's still, it will still rank and it would still pass, you know, with a 75. But the closer you can get to 100% human looking content, then, you know, you might want to go with that one, especially if you put your time into ranking pages and you don't want to mess your website up or anything like that. But oh, one more time, I'm going to show you guys how you will go about how you will go about. Uh, so so here it is. Let's say add my no, ad work media dot com. OK, so if you want to get the site map from the websites that you're trying to outrank and so that you can really see what keywords and what information they have on their site so that G uh, GPT-4 can help you. What is it? M no, is it XML? My bad. There we go. Boom. So look how easy it is. It tells you all of the pages, you know, or majority of their main pages that they have on their website that they're really trying to get traffic to and all of that extra stuff. So boom, you just plug that into chat GPT-4 and you tell it to just give you nothing, but give me nothing 
but the the website links so it's going to delete all the rest of this stuff right here and all of that crap and then it's going to leave you with the links then you just take the links plug that into gpt4 and then you put in your other prompts like all of this stuff right here that we did okay you will put in that and then you will paste that in there so Hey, man, dude, go ahead and get started, man. You can pass AI detection. You can start outranking your competitors. You can start coming with crazy amounts of content that can pass AI detection, get ranked on Google, dominate an SEO, and get approved for Google AdSense. All right, love you guys.